Hi, this is a nice question if you'd like to uh, revise discrete random variables. What we've got here is the probability function of a discrete random variable x is given by the probability of x equaling kx squared, where x takes on the values 1, 2 and 3, where k is a positive constant. And we've got to show that k equals 1 14th for two marks, and then find in part b the probability that x is greater than or equal to 2 for two marks, and part c, e of x for two marks, and finally in part d, the variance of 1 minus x for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't done so already, then I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll give you the numerical answers to B, C and D and if you're still unsure how to do this you can either fast forward and get all the solutions or I'll take you slowly through the solutions. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all the numerical solutions to B, C and D. Well B is 13 fourteenths C is 18 sevenths and D is 19 forty ninths. So if you'd like to see how I went about these parts, okay, I'll take you through. Okay, so before we actually start to do all of these, what I'm going to do is set up a probability distribution table. Not that you have to do this, but uh, I think it'll be useful anyway to uh, when we come to doing these particular questions at the end here. So by a probability distribution table then what we do is we set up our observed value x and then the probability that our random variable x equals the observed value. And this observed value can take on the values 1, 2 and 3. So we just put them there 1, 2 and 3. And in terms of k, the probability that x equals 1 will be 1 squared times k. In other words, 1k or just simply k. When x is 2, you're going to have 2 squared, which is 4, times k. So that's going to give us 4k. And similarly, when x is 3, you're going to get 9k. So that's our probability distribution table. Quite often in questions like this, we're asked to draw up a table like this. So how do we find out the value of k? How do we show that it's 1 14th? Well, we should be familiar with the fact that the sum of all the probabilities adds up to 1. So therefore, if we do that, we've got a total here of 14k. So we've got 14k must equal 1. And clearly, if we divide both sides by 14, then k equals 1 14th. Okay, so that's the first part. Now for part b, we've got to work out the probability of x being greater than or equal to 2. And that's just a simple case of just adding up these two probabilities. It'll be the probability that x equals 2 plus the probability that x equals 3. And so that's just going to be a total of 13k. And knowing that k equals 1 14th, 13 times 1 14th is going to give us 13 fourteenths. Okay, so that's that part done. Let's just move down to the next part, part C. Now for part C, we've got to work out the expected value of x, e of x. And to do this, you should be familiar with the fact that to work out an expected value, it's the, for a discrete random variable that is, which is what we've got here, it's the sum of x times the probability of getting that observed value of x. And we sum this for all our values. So in this example, it's going to be x equaling 1, 2, 3. And so if we do this, what we've got then is 1 times k, or just simply k, plus 2 times 4k, all right, plus 
plus three times 9k. And again, if we just come down here, okay, then what we've got is that therefore e of x equals, and we've got a total of k plus 8k plus 27k, that makes 36k. And knowing that k is 1 14th, then this is going to be 36 fourteenths. Or you could cancel top and bottom then by 2, and you're going to get 18 sevenths. All right, e of x then. Now for part d, we've got to work out the variance of 1 minus x. And to work out something like this, where we combine values, we should be familiar with this result. If not, again, do check this out on my website. And that is, if you've got the variance of, say, a constant, A, and it was, say, plus or minus another constant, which we'll call B, times the random variable X, this is equal to just simply B squared, times the variance of x. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you've got a plus or a minus here, you just drop that and it will be a positive value. So it's this result that we're going to work off of. So we just box that like so. And uh, how does that work for us here? Well, when I compare this, a is the 1, and then the b, if you like, is negative 1. Or you could just ignore it and just think of it as minus 1 times x. Okay, Either way, it's just going to reduce down to b squared, which will be essentially 1 times the variance of x. In other words, the variance of x. And how do we work out the variance of x? Well, the variance of x, again, we should be familiar with this, is e of x squared minus e of x, all squared. Now we've got the result for e of x. Okay, it was 18 over 7, so we're okay with that. But for e of x squared, this is equal to sigma, the sum of, in other words, x squared multiplied by the probability of x. And this goes for x equaling 1, okay, all the way to 3. And then we've got to minus e of x all squared, which we've just seen then was 18 sevenths. So we square all of that. And it's just a question now of working this part out. So it'll be x squared times the probability of x. And this is where the table, probability distribution table, comes in handy. It's going to be 1 squared then times k. So we'll just put that in just to show the working at the moment. 1 squared then times k. And then to this, it's plus 2 squared, the observed value, times the probability 4k. And then we've got plus 3 squared multiplied by the probability of 9k. And we take away 18 sevenths, all squared. E of x then, all squared. And if you work this out, you end up with a total in this section here over the first three terms of 98k. And we've got minus 18 sevenths, all squared. And taking k to be equal to 1 14th, you should find you end up with 19 49ths. All right.